It's showtime. Hello and welcome to the KN Cast. This is the only Kid Nation podcast. My name is Thomas Powell. Each week I ask my best friend Jake Scheidel if he did indeed watch a certain reality show. Jake, how are you doing? Thomas, I gotta say, I'm so proud of you. You got every single word of that right. Yeah, I did it great. Were you reading off notes? Because it sounded like you were reading off notes. I was reading my notes when you were doing that, and you hit every single word perfectly. No, I just, you know, some people just hit their marks, you know? <laughs> they, don't, they don't even need notes. Well, the thing is, like, when you do something enough times, your brain kind of stops engaging with it, because it's just, like, it becomes second nature. So, like, I understand that you feel the pressure, so you feel like you have to perform, but I've been doing the, I've been doing the intro for so long, it's like, I don't even think oh, about what's your, it anymore. Oh, what's your excuse, then, for when you mess up, like, every two weeks? My brain isn't uh, engaging with it anymore, because I'm so good at it. it my brain doesn't need to be Wait, used. Wait, so you're so good at it that you're bad at it? Yeah! What's not to understand about that? <laughs> like when, uh, let's, it's when you're, uh, like yawning or something. This is a science thing I heard like five or ten years ago, and, uh, it made a lot of sense to me. When you yawn, it's because your brain is not engaged. So it's kind of the same thing. Man, I, I, that's a good point, because I was yawning Thank at your you. explanation there. <sighs> Because you weren't listening. Man, go back and listen to that Radio Lab episode or whatever it was. It's pretty good. I have it, a recommendation yeah, for you. Every a podcast radio, yeah. I heard several years ago. Just go through every Radio Lab episode. <laughs> just listen to all of them. Eventually, you'll get to it. And then realize it's actually an Invisibilia episode. That Damn happened it. to me once. <laughs> I was like talking to my dad about this great Radio Lab episode all about uh, like nature and how it's like an orchestra in the forest, whatever. I was like, man, it's so good. And I was like, explaining it. And then I was like, I definitely remember hearing this and I could not find it in the archives. And then it turned out to be an Invisibilia episode. So that's sexist of me. And I apologize. I just wanted to say that here and now that I apologize for being sexist. Uh, yeah, Thomas. Well, Jake, this is not an Invisibilia podcast this is a, a yeah. podcast about kid nation it is the only podcast about kid nation mm-hmm. so jake i guess i have one question for you did you watch kid nation last night Looking out a dirty old as a matter of fact i did uh this episode was called deal with it which i think we already agreed is a very good episode yeah, title a, a, excellent title best one they've had so far uh the first episode oh sorry the first time this aired was October 3rd, 2007. Tell me, Thomas, how old were you on October 3rd, 2007? Jake, I would have been 16 years old. Mm, I would have been about 16 and a half. Mm. Not, you know, not a brag, but it is true. Uh, how many viewers do you think this episode received? I'm going to say like... One million. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it's received since, uh, but this received seven and a half million viewers its first airing, uh, whereas the premiere episode had just over nine million, and it has been steadily decreasing since. <laughs> can you believe it? Uh, I can. I can believe it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it makes a lot of sense. They do Irish car bombs in the saloon. Uh, was that cool? Did you think it was cool when they did when they dropped shots in their root beer? Were they doing that? I guess I didn't notice that they did that. That was like what the episode opened with. I was like, I don't know what you're trying to get at here. Uh, Cody says he, that man needs his root beer. Big episode for Cody. Yeah, big did you like? Did you like him? Uh, I mean, he's certainly a character. Um. <laughs> Too true. So, some girls don't go to the party in the saloon because they want to be well rested for the next day of taking care of the town. I think that was a pretty smart idea to be yeah, honest. I mean, they, they, it was cause they had a challenge, right? Like the, the next day. Mm. So a showdown. Sure yes. You want to make sure that your energy's up. That's true. Yeah. I never go out drinking if I've got a challenge the next day and that is every day. Uh, yep. every day is a challenge. Greg bangs some pots and pans together to wake people up. And that's just like a classic reality show move. I was a big fan of that happening. It was very funny. Yes, this quickly got out of hand, though. <laughs> the whole nation See, of kids got out of hand quickly. They need uh, a law and order president. They need a bossy president like President Bush. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Uh, the town uh, journal tells the town to implement a curfew. I mean, like, who's the mayor here? Lori Heavyfoot? <laughs> Whoa. You know? Remember? Lori Livefoot. Yeah, that's what they call her now. Because she's always lying. Uh, Greg calls Sophia the B word, and then they both call each other the village idiot. <laughs> there was a lot of cursing going on from Greg. Yeah, and cursing, no good. The little kids yeah. don't like it. No bueno. The small children are not happy. Uh, what do you think of Greg and Sophia? I feel like they're kind of like the Baylor and what's his name of San Juan del Survivor. Of Kid Nation, rather. They definitely are the Baylor and what's his name. Um, <laughs> As I wrote that in my notes, I was like, oh yeah, which one was it? I know we just watched this three weeks ago, but I've already forgotten which brother made it further. Was it Alec? <laughs> I'm leaning towards Alec, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, are you shipping Greg and Sophia? Uh, no, I would say that I am not shipping Greg and... So- I'm not shipping anyone. They're fucking children, dude. Children have crushes? What are you talking about? Children are like the main proprietors of crushes. Uh, they're allowed... Look, the kids are allowed to have crutches. Er, crutches. They're, all- they're also allowed to have crutches. But, uh... <laughs> but, yeah, I, as an adult, like, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to, like, will anything into existence. I'm not trying to live vicariously through these children. Speak for yourself. That's what TV was made for. Did you even watch the new Charlie Kaufman movie? Uh, Then there's a town meeting and the town council tells them that the curfew is 930 and everybody gets really pissed. But then they go along with it, I guess. Did you guys get a curfew in Grand Rapids? I think we I think we had it for like a day or two. Yeah, I think our curfew was nine o'clock, which is 30 minutes earlier than the kids in Bonanza City. And it's mostly adults here. Crazy. So, just saying, Lori Lightfoot, she'd never, she'd never make it in the Kid Nation. Uh, Cody and some of the other boys go hiking and stumble upon some wild cows. <laughs> and then Cody approaches a huge bull that didn't run off when they chased all the cows. Did you think Cody was going to die here? <laughs> It really, like, seemed like Cody was going to die. Like, I know right? that they have production staff there, but you'd think somebody would have been like, hey. Hey, don't do that. Yeah. I think they probably weren't actually wild. So maybe they were like, these, guys, these are tame cows. They're not going to hurt these kids. Well, yeah, but that bull, like, it looked like it could do some damage on Cody. Yeah, oh, definitely. I but, still think it was probably wild, wildly irresponsible, but. Yeah. There's a lot of that this week. The wildly irresponsible West. I was like, oh, I West. can see why this show wasn't brought back. Yeah, it's not great. They, uh, uh, there was a big food fight in the kitchen also, which uh, really upset me also. Oh, <laughs> like, where they were all throwing flour on each other? God, that pissed me off so much. I was like, oh, I understand parents now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did keep thinking, like, oh, somebody's going to have to clean that up, huh? Mm-hmm. And that person is Mallory, uh, even though she's not part of the kitchen staff. She says, as also, the upper class, we don't have to work for our paycheck. Man, dropping gems every episode, these kids. What was her, her like, she was attempting to clean it up, but she was just kind of, like, raking the ground that had flour on it. Yeah, she it was raking like the flour real... through the sand. Yeah, it didn't seem like there was that much of a plan there. No. I mean, she's a child. Yeah, she, she doesn't know anything. Obviously, you need a mop if you're going to clean up flour. Uh, at the showdown, each district has to find sheep with their specific playing card on it. Uh, and then the town council member calls out for their team the names of the sheep. I really liked this challenge, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, this was good. This it was, was a lot fun of fun. One. Uh, one, of the sheep, one of the sheep is named Jeb, which was very funny because they talk about Bush so much on this show. Uh, and then another one was named J.R., but they call out for Junior, which was like, that's not, that's not his name. Junior is J, lowercase r, J.R. is a specific name. Like, I can't believe that these 10-year-olds didn't recognize a reference to Dallas, a show that ended a year before any of them were born. Yeah, or, uh, or Jim Ross, one of the yeah, two. Yeah, it was probably, it was, it was probably a Jim Ross, ref- Jim Ross reference, oof. Uh, what's his name? Jonathan Karsh loves Jim Ross. That's a fact. Uh, the yellow team wins and becomes the upper class, 
So I think we said last week that's the right move. That's definitely where they should be because they're not going to do anything otherwise. Because they're not going to work anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so fine, whatever. Uh, Blue becomes the merchants. Do you know what the merchants do? I feel like they're the most overlooked of all the classes. They run the shop, like they run the general store, I guess, and the saloon. Oh, okay, sure. Um, but then they implied like Mallory was a great businesswoman. Like, she's been doing it the whole time, but she hasn't been on the merchant team. Man, they really should have colored buffs. Because I never know what team anyone is on. Do you remember what team Mallory's on? Uh, Mallory is on the blue team. Well, that does make sense, because she was in the uh, saloon. Not saloon. Aren't they wearing, like, blue t-shirts? I feel like they always have something identifying themselves. Oh, I don't know. I'm not paying super close attention. (laughs) I'm glad I'm glad we're at least getting that out there. This is maybe not the level of care that you're, you know, used to from uh from our survivor seasons. Yeah. The uh the green becomes the cooks, which we also said last week was where they should be cuz they would Sophia's on the green team. I know that. Right? Sophia is indeed on the green team. And she's the one who who cooked all the food for them in the first episode. So that makes sense that they would end up there. That's good. And then the red team finishes in last, but they do finish in time to win either a microwave or 40 pizzas. The people all want pizza, obviously. But the town council goes off to discuss it. Well, all the whole town chants for pizza. What would you pick if you were on the town council? Would you rather go for pizza or would you rather go for a a microwave? Man, I... Thinking about it, like, I might still go for the pizza just because, like, the microwave usage is so situational. What are they going to be making in there? Reheating oatmeal, maybe? Or, like, chicken? I don't know. I feel like a pizza, though, is going to run out in, like, a few days. No, it is. you're, and, you're You're not keeping that pizza for more than a day. You're, you're eating it that day. But it's like a morale boost. I guess. Uh, they find. I, I just think I think yeah. the morale boost of the better food might be worth more than like being able to make hot cocoa. Sometimes. Well, Taylor decides that they should take the microwave because she says that it's up to them. <laughs> I understand it as like a more like I don't think that either choice is wrong. Is kind of where I'm at with it. Like, fair I enough. Understand, fair enough. I understand going for the more responsible long-term choice. I just think that, like, because that was my first thought. was like, oh, they better not pick these pizzas. But when I thought about it more, I was like, they're not going to use that microwave that much. Like, Yeah. Uh, But whatever. Either's fine. Taylor says that uh, she compares herself again to President Bush, saying sometimes Bush has to be bossy. So that's a good. What do you think of the town council as, like, a device in a reality show? Uh, I think it's interesting. Um... So, they have to, like, have a majority vote to call new elections for it, or what? Like, um, I think it's up to Jonathan Karsh, to be honest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kid Nation yeah. is indeed not a democracy. Jonathan Karsh uh, has to call elections. Jonathan Karsh is the god of Kid Nation. Like, he doesn't, he doesn't actually have authority over the kids, but he is always there, always watching. You know? Like, he's not the president, but he's definitely there. <laughs> he's like the uh, Jacob of Bonanza. Uh, which Jacob? From Lost? Uh, the Lost Jacob. Mm, that's me. Uh, they, they take the uh, microwave, and it's good. If you like, Thomas, if you like the town council as a device, I think you would love the challenge. They do this in the challenge all the time. Oh, is it because they've got, like, the Troika or whatever? I think they call them tribunals now. But, yeah, they've been doing that the last few seasons. And I don't know. I didn't like that. I like it more when it's kids. I didn't like it as much when it was them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mallory runs the store and is a great businesswoman. And then a storm blows through. And it's apparently a twister. And all of the outhouses blow over. This was a lot. This was. I kept thinking... 
Like, I know that there's a lot of production staff there, but they really wanted to get a lot of shots of the kids running around getting buffeted by winds, and I was like, this seems really irresponsible, Mm -hmm. even if there are people there. Mm -hmm. Uh, Are you nervous for this happening when we go camping in a couple weeks? (laughs) While the Um, outhouse is blowing over? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I certainly don't want any outhouses to blow over. Yeah, we don't have a Greg in our group. Greg helps put up the outhouses, that's why I say that. Uh, The town council then asks everybody who they should choose to get the gold star. Why weren't they always doing this? <laughs> like, it's a ta- it's a community. You should take the whole community into, you know, I should be on this town council. Yeah. <laughs> These kids don't know what they're doing. We got to get some adults in there. Thank you. Thomas, I have good news. What's and that, that is, there were some wildlife shots this week. Oh, there were. In fact, there were some cows. (laughs) There were some cows. (laughs) The cows that Cody and his friends found. Uh, Cows can be found nearly everywhere in the world, except for northern Canada and Greenland, northern Africa, and central Australia. Depending on their breed, they can weigh anywhere from 600 to 3,000 pounds. They are gregarious animals. They eat clover and grass, but prefer clover more in the morning. They have 20,000 taste buds. Thomas, how many taste buds do you have? Uh, 20,001. Wow, congrats. Uh, do you also, do you hate the color red? Uh, hate is a strong word. Okay. Um, like if you were in like an arena and there was a guy who like waving a red flag in front of you, would that make you mad? Yeah, I'd probably bum rush him. Yeah, good. You should. It's actually not the color red that bulls get mad about. It's the movement of the flag or cape that the yeah. bullfighter is using. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I've heard that a lot. I mean, yeah. I think the, the color, like, is red just because it'll get their attention, but it's, like, the moving. They're yeah. Like, Who's this asshole? I'm They're not inherently it. upset that red exists. <laughs> Uh, last fun fact about cows. Uh, a bull has a fibroelastic penis. I don't tell you that on the Kid Nation. No, they, they, they managed to leave that part out. Yeah. That's why we're here, the only Kid Nation podcast. Uh, then they have their town meeting, and I just wrote in my notes, usual Taylor shit. I don't think we need to go further into it. It's just the whole crowd yelling at Taylor. Uh, Sophia calls for a re-election, and then the whole town cheers, uh, and then Ty- Taylor finally admits, we're going to help. I don't buy it. No. Crocodile tears. Mm -hmm. Can't trust Taylor. Mm -mm. Mm-mm. Wasn't Taylor the other guy in Twilight with Jacob? Edward, right? Edward. uh, Edward Taylor Lautner is the name of the guy that played Jacob. He's from where we're from, sort of. Uh, Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Um, Yeah. He so was also when, shark. He was also Shark Boy in the movie. Oh, shark I forgot he was Shark, shark Boy and Lava Girl. Um. So Sophia calls for a re-election, and the whole town cheers, and then they don't have a re-election. So what's the deal? Like that's why I was saying I don't think that it's up to them to have a re-election. Yeah, I if don't. The, if they fully, were, they I guess would I, have. Yeah, I guess I kind of wasn't sure either. I don't really know how it works. Well, I know that what, there's like a redistricting at some point. I don't know when, but pretty soon, I think. So I don't know if that'll mean there's a new town council. Watch Taylor like uh, uh, gerrymander Kid Nation so that she can remain on the town council. It's going to be Kid Nation voter suppression. I hate it. Uh, Mallory gets the gold star because it's her birthday, and also she's a great businesswoman. And we need to look after the younger kids, too. Don't forget about them. Just because Greg's yeah. so strong. Did you look up when Greg also, finally wins his gold star? Are you ready yeah, for I know it? He's, I, he'll win, yeah, like, I know he's going to win one eventually. I didn't look it up, but, like, he probably shouldn't win one when you throw a big tantrum for no reason. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah, these kids are learning a lot, probably. <laughs> Uh, who do you like more, Thomas? President Taylor Bush from Bonanza City or our friend from Back Home Tales? 
Uh, I definitely like Tails, because he yeah, reminds me good of answer. my friend from back home. Good answer. Well, Tails is on uh, the Survivor Wild West season that I did write. It's on SurvivorWildWest.tumblr.com. First two chapters are up now. Somebody on Reddit called it well-written, and then asked if I'd heard of Brant Steel. Yeah, I have heard of Brant Steel. That's why I wrote this whole thing, because Brant Steel is frustrating. <laughs> It doesn't do what I want it to do, so I wrote my own. So you can read that on the website that I said yeah. before. Jake, you're finally getting uh, some of the acceptance. What if you had gotten? What if that had gotten removed for being a low effort post? <laughs> it probably will at one point. At some point, uh, it was not. It's, it has not been a very popular post on that website. But I did post the first episode of the KN Cast to the KN Reddit, and somebody DM'd me. You know you're not the only Kid Nation podcast, and I did not respond. <laughs> because this is the only Kid Nation podcast. It's also the only Survivor podcast. You can follow us on Twitter at DYWSLN, or my personal Twitter is Jake Scheidel. Uh, don't DM me at Tom Not Tom. <laughs> uh, we I, can don't also- need, I don't need to hear about any of these hypothetical other kid nation podcasts yeah not interested we're the only one we're also on instagram now it's the only survivor podcast at the only survivor podcast i don't know if i need to say the at i think people probably get it by now you can also review us on apple podcast thomas i do think we need to hear that review again because i i looked recently and somebody gave, gave us a review which it was five stars which thank you uh through line only has like a four and a half and that's a pretty good podcast so we're better than that show so that's sure. good but the issue is somebody left a review so we need we need to remind people what to write because they had written five stars he said great stuff guys that's not what you're supposed to write okay thomas can you please give them our our dear <laughs> listeners the the actual review you're supposed to use because everybody else has used it except for our latest review so all right, uh, this is my favorite podcast. I like it better than all of the other podcasts. I give it a big thumbs up. It's not that hard. It's like three sentences. Uh, but also, thank you for, for giving us a review on Apple Yes, Podcasts. thank you for the review. Yeah, that's, that's really kind of you. You uh, did the important thing, which was give us five stars. <laughs> Next week, we are watching the fourth episode of Kid Nation, which I, again, forgot to put in my notes. So I guess we'll see what the episode title is next week. Did you look it up, Thomas, since you're the host I, of the I didn't, cast? I did so I, I think we're all going to be very surprised together. We're all in for a fun surprise. All right, well, in the meantime, have a great quarantine. Deuces. Last day of the rest of my life. I wish I would have known because I didn't kiss my mama goodbye. I didn't tell her that I loved her, how much I cared. I think my pops wanted to talk and all the wisdom he shared. Unaware, I just did what I always do. Every day the same routine before I skate off to school. But who knew that this day wasn't like the rest? Instead of taking the test, I took two to the chest. Call me blind, but I didn't see it coming. Everybody was running, but I couldn't hear nothing except gun blast. It happened so fast, I didn't really notice. Get the wise advice. Hit the record button, so... Yeah. Okay, this is it. This is what's happening now. Okay. Kid. 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 Because they had written, let me find it.
They had written. Man, we're really living up to that five-star billing right now. Yeah, this is all getting this is all getting out of Thomas. No matter what you say, it don't take away the pain that I feel inside. I'm tired of all the lies. Don't nobody know why. Ian. 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 Hooray! We did it!